Hey and welcome to video number 10. We're going to talk about how you can set up your thank you page. It's a very easy process. Number one, you're going to zip your product files, your ebook or report or written document along with your license. Now remember that you receive privately rights to a product. That doesn't mean that you can necessarily pass those rights on. So depending on your license, make sure that you create a license and attach it to the product files. And you can easily do that using Microsoft Word, copy pasting the other license, tweaking them and changing them around. You know, some private label rights will have transferable rights, which means you can transfer that to your customer. But then if it's non-transferable, then they can only have personal rights. So make sure you pay close attention to the legal rights. After that, you take the zipped product files and you add it to the same folder as your thank you page. Now, you can add it to any folder that you want, but for simplicity, if you add them to the same folder as your thank you page, it just makes life a lot easier. And I'll show you why in just a second. And then, of course, after that, you can edit the thank you page with Composer and upload the files, and that's it. So let me go and show you how easy it is. So the key here is to zip only the product files into one zip file. Now, with an ebook and report, you're dealing with a very small size file. So you don't really have to create individual zip files just because you're dealing with very, very small sized files. So first thing to do is locate the report or the ebook. And all of these are just marketing materials for ourselves. And so we just need this. So we need the cat special report or anything that you're dealing with. Plus you need a license. So like I said earlier, you should create a license and using what I taught you on how to convert the license or the Word document to a PDF file, you know, you can create the PDF file. So we got this, we might want to convert this into a PDF. So we're going to copy these two PDFs and zip them into a zip folder. Now if you're on a Windows computer, then zipping them is easy. All you need to do is select these two. And the way I did it was I clicked on it, click control and selected the license. If you're on a Macintosh, you will need to do uh, something different. So basically zip these two files and I'll just call it cat train cat ports and then I want to move this to the location where my thank you page is for simplicity so I'm gonna to go to the sales letter and that's my download page so I'm going to so what I did earlier was I just clicked on this right click click cut and basically moved it over to here so right click click on paste and that's it so the next step is to edit my thank you page or download page here and connect the product zip file to that page and to do that it's simply by using composer again so I'm going to right click on the thank you page open it with composer and you're going to see how easy this is going to be. It only takes less than a few minutes. So I've got Composer open here and I'm going to put this in here so that you can see it better. And as you can see here is a thank you page. All right. So in this case, I'm just only selling the report itself. So I'm going to delete this. What I'm going to do is just delete this here and I'm going to, okay. So thank you for your purchase. Please bookmark this page. Your account will show up and your name. Okay, good. And then right below the picture, I'm going to download here. And the reason why I said, if I go back over to the file manager here, the reason why I put this in here is simply because of this. If I click on this and click rename and then highlight the whole thing and right click and copy, what I'm trying to do is get the a link directly to the downloadable files. So it says download here. If I highlight that, select that, click on link, 
and just enter train cat report dot zip. If it's in the same folder as the thank you page, all I need to do is enter this. Now, if it is a different location, then I will need to point that there. And that's why for simplicity, I did it this way. Click on OK. And if you want to add bonuses, you can. But for simplicity, I'm just going to click on Save and close it. Then the last thing I need to do is upload these files to my server. And in this, I recommend that you use FileZilla. FTP program and you can get FileZilla simply by going to if you go to Google you type in FileZilla click on client download the beauty of FileZilla is compatible with Windows Linux and Macintosh so download it install it and then get your FTP hosting information username and password install this program you know connect to it with the host is usually ftp dot whatever your domain dot com is enter your username and password and then when you once you're connected basically double click on this and you have two choices you can either create a new folder or just simply upload them to directly to the main folder so right now I've got FileZilla open here and then I've got my files here if I select them all and drag and drop them here you'll see how easy it is and I've already uploaded the files and that's it for this video